the detail. So for now, we're going to put something in here that's too simplified. It's wrong because it's too simplified because we don't, we're not going to look for all the data because if we do, if I start pulling up, up numbers that don't tie out to this number, then it's going to mess things up. Why don't I want to dig into it and tie out to it now? Because that'll make it more complicated here to figure out if we're in balance. And I don't have all the other components lined up yet in order to piece out what's happening here in any case. I can't change any other accounts. I don't have anything in the financing, which is probably going to be related to it in a loan. So it's better for me just to put this number here somewhere now, reconcile, and then go back. So what we're going to do then is just look for all other accounts that are going to be related to this equipment account. And that there's going to be accumulated depreciation will be related. So I'm going to make that red. That's part of equipment in essence. And then we have the depreciation expense that's going to be related to it. Now these two note that if there was no sale of equipment, they should be the same. So I can just include those two here and they'll cancel each other out. In this case, something must have happened. They're not the same. There must have been a sale or something like that. So we're going to net those two things out here in the same account. And then we'll compensate for that once we dig down on the journal entry. And then we have this loss on sale of equipment. Again, that's part of, of this. It's going to have to net out somehow to this equipment. So I'm going to, for now, I'm going to say, hmm, that's a kind of a mess. There's probably a lot more detail. Luckily, there shouldn't be too many pieces of equipment sold because we don't, it's not like looking into the GL of, of cash where there's going to be a ton of activity. We're not buying equipment every day, hopefully. So it should be fairly easy for us to, to figure out a few journal entries and then break that out. But for now, we're just going to lump that into an account and I'm going to call it uh, cash paid for purchase of equipment. And we're just going to use the same process we had up here. I'm just going to say negative of this minus this minus this minus this and again you can kind of think through why it would all be negative like that to pick up all those i mean obviously here if we purchase the equipment